Hi, welcome to a video about Arch Linux B. The B stands for build it yourself because we hear that there are lots of comments about the ISO and an ISO is never personal. It isn't. It is always a choice of a developer. And it's never going to be 100% the way you want it. So we had this idea. What if we give the power to the people and say, here, build it yourself. Choose what goes on it and then install it. So that's how build your own ISO uh, came to be. And you can build Arco Linux ISO, XFCE, Openbox, i3, or just the bare one. Let's call this the bare one, the base. And then we have a B from build the desktop, any of these desktops, but still with our choice of tools, Melt, Tree Browsers, browsers and so on, Gimp, Inkscape. Then came the idea, what if we provide you also a minimal? So we are now at five desktops, but it only shows, and we only want to show the power we give to you, whether it's this one, that one, or that one, you can build them all, right? But if you decide to go for one desktop, then here is already something minimal. And um, this tutorial is about Plasma minimal. So what you do is you go to this website at clinicsb.com and you follow a procedure. You git clone the information from the net. This is going to be to go away. So we go to the desktop, right mouse click, open terminal, control shift V, enter, and we have everything from the net on your system. Then you need to know two things, two folders. One is decide what you want to have on your system. So in the beginning, everything will stay off, I would say, unless you know what you're doing. And at some point in time, you'll see here a choice software, software from Arch Repo. So a lot of things hash, have a hashtag and that's a great tip. I just came to think about it. I should tell you guys, change Sublime Text to Perl under here to the right. Look at this, look at this. So everything that's black, that's a hashtag, will not be installed. So everything that is here will be installed. So let's make it even more minimal. We don't want a music player. We don't want variety. We don't want VLC. And you can keep going at it like that. But remember, some of the shortcuts will not work. Obviously, the software is not there. Some of the conkeys will not work. Of course, we didn't um, add yet, for instance, or the fonts are not installed and so on. So uninstalling will break things. You have to live with that and you have to figure them out. Hey, what did I, what I, what I'm missing? What is this application missing to function properly? So what else could we change? Gported maybe, but Gported is there because it's in the XFCE settings and it's this is Plasma. Nah. So, yeah, we can get rid of this. But you won't have Gparted. Hard info, okay, can go from Plasma, but it's gone, right? You decide what you want. Vivaldi, let's take new browsers whatsoever. Let's go for more minimal than we are providing already. Conkeys, conkeys, you don't care about conkeys. Okay, get rid of conky Lua archers. Grub customizer is for dual booting or maybe for the, to change the grub design. So um, if you're not into that, you can get rid of that. Main stick is to burn an ISO. I would keep that. Sublime text, yeah, you should keep something to edit elements. So if you're kicking out the conkeys, why get the conkeys in? So the Arconix Conkey Collection is out. And that's pretty much it, because here we are more in the technical stuff. Here you can decide as well if you want to have these elements from uh, Plasma or yes or no, or the, the games in or out, stuff like that. But this is our test. So once you've done that, you go to the installation scripts, right mouse click open terminal there. And then you say, run me this thing. And it will do its thing. So it means uh, that means that you can 
walk away and come back and the ISO is built. If errors occur, lots of them have been explained why the errors are there or what you should do and it's all to be found on the forum. And um, come and join us at Discord if you have an issue. We'll probably tell you, give us a picture, give us an explanation on the forum. Because once it's there, it will help 20 people and not just you. So let's wait for um, this installation to finish. It will take a while and we'll see if we are around 2 gigabyte. I expect we, we should land. All right, let's pause. Okay, we've reached 1.8 gig. I believe we were at 2.7 or something. Let's have a look. So Arc Linux B out. That's the folder where everything is finally dumped into. I don't seem to have a maximal uh, plasma, but I recall it's around 2.7. So it's around 1 gig less, even less than what we normally have because we've eliminated a lot of software during this video. So what's next? Well, installation, of course. So we have an ISO. So Super F7 in my case, this is the shortcut we use. We have a machine ready and we go and we show that we have the Arch Linux B out folder and the latest one and that's this one. So from this date and hour, that's correct. And then we double click and remember in Arch Linux B we have, um, well it's for, for many reasons, but we end up in an XFCE, call it all the way and then we're right where we want to be in a plasma system in this case. So no need to go ahead and do the complete installation. Let's just wait and this minimal XFCE is launched with Calamares and all you need to do is next, 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 next and six or seven screens later. You're installing and then you reboot. All right, enjoy. <laughs> 